What's up, it's Boy and Girl. Sorry, I have not made a video in a quite a long time. I've just been on a little bit of a streak of L's, but I do have a few pickups to show you in this video. Also, we might have a live call for the FTP drop on Saturday, depending if I can get my screen recording back to work or if I'm able to use like another phone or a camera to record it. We're not gonna say why I have a beanie on, we just do. And that's all. So, let's get into the package. So, it's the review of a Jordan 1 Royal Toe. Also, with a slight comparison to the um, 2017 Jordan 1 Royals. And the 2019, or just like the only time they released this, the uh, 21 Gym Red. It has very, very similar color uh, blocking on these. And a very similar color blocking to two other shoes, which I'll throw them up on the screen. Then it'll release, I believe, either this or next year. So, let's get into the packaging. Jordan 1 Royal Toe in a size 10. Comes in the normal, um, yes, well, every single Jordan 1 um, come in. So, Jordan 1 High, that is. So, as you can see, these do look a lot. Like these, and then there is like right here is red, and for here it is blue, and then the, there is the white um, Jordan uh, Air Jordan logo. But I think I do like the normal black one a bit more, in my opinion. But the white still looks really cool. It has black um, all over shoe, and on the toe box, it is the same beautiful blue. And on the soles, it is red, while here it is black. So extremely, extremely similar color blocking. And like the shoes that I showed you before, it does come with black and also um, so it comes black and also blue laces. <laughs> and here it has a red Nike swoosh, and on here it has a black one. Two extremely clean shoes. These uh, I predict will go a up a lot in price in the next several um, months. So it's a pretty good hold if you have these now. And. Uh, also a super super clean shoe unfortunately probably quarantine will last the rest of the summer or most of it but it is a super nice um summer slash springtime shoe and also it's an, because it has a white and black and more almost i guess not really dark colors but simple and minimalist colors you will also be able to be worn all year long I'm gonna keep these DS for the time being when I rock when I but when I pull these out it'll definitely be with a nice fit or I might sell them down the line. Also, I had um Jordan ones have like these new um like before like they just changed the material. It used to be like not as plasticky or like these are like it's like leather here and then it's like plastic almost here well these are like uh, woven or imprinted in but that's pretty cool um yeah it's a nice it's a super super clean shoe so this is the other shoe um i was able to get on east bay with help of uh, my cook group monitors the shoe was normally retailed at 120 and then it was uh, deducted, like it was on sale for 105 And it's uh, reselling currently for around 180 So that's a pretty good profit margin. Unfor I believe I did select 
Um, they had an eight and a ten and a half. I should have gone with the eight, but whatever. Um, I did select ten and a half, but when I like process and everything, it was an eleven, which is a little bit annoying because the last sale for ten and a half was two seventy five. So it's kind of whatever. But let's get into the shoe. So it is a Jordan One mid. It's a Jordan 11 Crimson, Crimson Tint. So they released a Jordan 1 High Crimson Tint and it looks completely bloody. Not really good at all, to be honest. Um, it's not terrible, but it's not really good. And then like, I don't even know if it's a suede, it's more like a new buff material. Of, like it's not very buttery at all, kind of rough. And then this isn't even like leather, I don't think. It's like, it feels like almost like Adidas pants. It's an okay shoe. It's more of a women's shoe, even though it's like I got it in a huge size. It's an okay shoe. Um, you know, there will be eventually a buyer for it. Yeah, so this could potentially be like, a $50 flip, which is pretty good. 